All right, ladies and gents, so let's continue on. So um, I'm going to talk about something that some of our listeners last week were speaking about, um, crypto. So I'm just curious, is crypto, or do you believe, is crypto the future of purchasing or investing in real estate? Now, crypto, it's, again, it's, it's, it's obviously been around for a little bit of time. For those of you early adopters who uh, got into Bitcoin when it was a dollar, five dollars, even even a thousand dollars. Those lucky people. Yeah, those. It, well, you would have called them crazy, the quacks back then. Yeah. But they're they're laughing right now. Well, it depends. Like, I don't think too many of them would have kept until when when it got to seventy thousand dollars because it would have been pretty hard to kind of turn down some of those increases. Yeah. But I'm sure there was a few of them who maybe forgot about it and came back to it and could be like uh, millionaires right now. But so. What, we, what I want to talk about specifically is because now the crypto show is more real estate show is can you use Rift or crypto to purchase a home? And what we're talking about today is more for the uh, people in the States. Um, so there's been a few companies that have tried to actually allow you to make payments using Bitcoin. Um, one of them was, they, they, they came up last year, but they didn't, they didn't really last too long. They allowed you to buy with, um, with Bitcoin. And that, that one didn't, they fell through. Um, However, there are there's there's a few methods where you can use Bitcoin to, um, well, for one, use it as um, collateral for for like a loan, right? So how it works is there's a few companies in the states, um, BlockFi, Celsius, and Unchained Capital, where in a, in a few states you can you can use your crypto and actually use it as collateral for for a loan. So what that does is instead of having to cash out your crypto and getting a taxable event, it's just, it's sitting there and it's used again as as collateral for like a down payment. Now there's pros and cons to this because for any of you who are following crypto right now, it's kind of a bloodbath right now. Um, at the time of me reading one of the articles w about this, Bitcoin at the time was forty-seven thousand dollars. For those of you following Bitcoin, I believe right now it's around thirty thousand. It got as low as twenty-four thousand um, within the week, and it's 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 up and down. So it's unless you have one of the again, I don't get too technical here, but the stable coins where it kind of follows U.S. dollar. There's a lot of give and take in the price, and you could be a millionaire today and then. A thousand there tomorrow, so um, yeah. So if you're if you're willing to kind of take that risk with the Bitcoin or with 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 your um for the loans, it's an option. Again, one of the drawbacks though is if if as Bitcoin goes down or any or the um crypto goes down, what can happen? You might get like a margin call, which means you're gonna have to add on to your your um crypto stake. So it's an option. Again, I'm not sure if I would do it, but it's it is out there for you. Another method is. If you have two people who are just willing to say, you know what, I have, I have a home that's worth half a million dollars, you have half a million dollars in Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it is, and we decide to transact, then you're free to do that. There's no issues there. Um, again, it's just, it's just a contract and you, and you go through the purchase and sale. Um, so that's the main things. Again, I don't want to get too deep into it because it can, we can go on for a long time with this. Actually, one last thing. Um, NFTs, right, non-fungible tokens. They're, they're thinking of, instead of using deeds, actually you can use an NFT as your kind of... Um, Proof of purchase, proof, proof of sale, and one home was actually sold in Florida. Where was it? Um, for 210 Ethereum, which at the time was around 600 thousand dollars, and the buyer received an NFT as proof of a proof of ownership. Right. So, again, how NFTs work is there's smart contracts, blockchains, which basically means it's everything is is in in the open. So you cannot you can, you can't mess the records up. It's when it's there, it's there. Right. So that's kind of the 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 pro of it. Now. Again, with crypto, crypto is supposed to be decentralized. So when you mix it with real estate, it's kind of like a gray area. It's like, do you really want to do that? Because once you, once you take the crypto from um, the, the cloud and bring it, bring it back to the, into the society, you're then for sure paying taxes, right? Again, you, sh you should be paying taxes anyways. That's up to you. But well, once, you, once you take it from, from the cloud and bring it, bring it, bring it into the, the real estate transaction, it's a taxable event then for sure. And you got to take that into consideration. So... My question to you is, would you trust buying or selling your home or next home or selling your home with crypto? All right, so send us an email. Also, you can send a comment if you're watching this online, and I look forward to hearing from you. Well, what can go wrong? <laughs> what can go what wrong? Can, well, it, it, he, he said it right at the beginning. Like, know, uh, you but... sell your house, okay? So we sell our house for $2 million. If you're showing so, proof that you have it. Yo, babes, I'm just explaining. <laughs> you, you sell the house for $2 million. We're all happy. You're like so happy. You're actually hugging me. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling great. And, and everything feels awesome. And uh, we say, yeah, and it's a Bitcoin. And we're like so happy. We're investing in Bitcoin. 
and we close on it and it closed yesterday and yesterday bitcoin was trading at forty-seven thousand dollars but today it's trading at twenty four thousand dollars or how we just sold our house for a million dollars we just lost a million dollars in so. one day oh, yeah because our, because it's already because ours. because it's yeah. that volatile it's and, and, and it's well volatile both ways it's again it could happen yeah, the other way yeah. as well but i wouldn't want to take that chance like i mean it's one thing to sell your house do your two million dollars get your two million dollars and then say hey i want to go and put it in bitcoin and see what the heck happens then that's on you but if you're just doing it as a layman which we are when it comes to cryptocurrency and we sold our house for two million you're hugging me and the next day it's a I'm million i'll you. never get a hug again <laughs> and the thing especially is especially if i was the one that a said hug to a slap <laughs> hug to a slap and, and the thing too is with again, there's there's many different types of crypto. You have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Luna. There's a whole bunch of things, and and you have what's called stablecoin. So what a stablecoin is, I kind of touch on a little bit is, it's basically it's it's pegged to the U.S. dollar, which means whatever the U.S. dollar is, if you have if you have ten of these stablecoins, it'll always be ten dollars theoretically. However, over the last week, again, one of the um, I think it was Luna, it's it had like a, there was I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it went from. The, the stable coin for that went from a dollar to like 30 cents, basically Yikes. like, that, 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 sorry, thank you. So down 99%. So if you own Luna, 99%. Yeah. So if so you were a millionaire, like nothing so, now. So, so again, if you were a millionaire with Luna, you're now again, a, a 10 in there, $10 ten. in there. So you got to be careful, make sure you do your research and what the yeah. heck? Well, that means that we sold our home for $2 million and now we got, what is it, $2,000? I'm never doing that. So, so now the next day up. we wake up and there's $2,000. Holy smokes. That would be a big problem. Like, <laughs> I, I, think, I think you might even end up getting divorced over that one. What do you think? Wow. Would you just leave me? So you might, We'd have nowhere to go. You might, you might be lucky if it's just a divorce. Can you imagine? We can't even divorce because we can't afford to divorce at that what point. Is that, what is that station with the, uh, I stuck together. Well, what would happen if you sold your house for the $2 million, you did it in one of those coins called? The Luna? Luna coins. They dropped 99%, so your $2 million is worth, what, 2000 Something like that? Oh, so, so then it's worth 2000 but you have a house that you're closing on. I know, that's what I'm saying, Luna's, you're homeless. And you only have $2,000 to close on it. You're, you're homeless. Damn. I hope I haven't moved out of my original house yet because I'll just squat there. <laughs> this Try is, kicking me out, come on. <laughs> Um, that's yeah, a, that, that, that is scary when you put it in like real simple terms yeah. like that. That's scary as hell. Again, the, yeah, and there is always volatility. Um, who again with crypto, you never really know. Like, I, I think long term, it's it's it'll be okay, but I don't know if I'd buy or sell anything with it. For me, it's if you want to have if you have some disposable income, sure, put some in crypto, put some in different places, and Again, if it goes up, then cash out when you feel it necessary. But in terms of, like, if it's something where, like, for example, with the house, the house might close in 90 days, and you're, you're banking on 90 days of holding that crypto, I don't know if I would be, uh, if I'd have the cojones to, to, to hold out that long and, and play with the ups and downs. Wait, ride the wave? Yeah. I, I think, personally, for me, I would be, like, it's something I would dip into, but not yeah. buying a house or in real estate. It would be, like, my extra yeah that i that if i lose i don't yeah for me, like, I, which, I have, is, which is kind of what they say about the stock market yeah, right they say people that really win in the stock market got big money to put in and don't mind lo losing it well and it's long term game. it's kind of like real estate it's still long term with even with crypto if you want to well with crypto you could win we could do quickly too because crypto because it's so volatile if you know what you're doing you can make money but it's probably more likely to lose money for, for most people because most people don't know what to do yeah, it's a big learning curve. It's not just put your money in there and then just yeah. walk away, right? It's not as simple as any of that. So, um, years ago, I don't know, it was four or five years ago, something like that, can't remember, quite some time ago, um, we had uh, a friend that introduced us to a coin called Illcoin. And at that time, uh, Algamos, uh, Illcoin, at that time, the Bitcoin was a dollar. 
Oh. And we could get the ill coins at 10 cents. So we bought the and ill so, coins. And so, you know, everybody's saying the ill coins are going to be the next big thing. The problem with Bitcoins was the problem, the problem with Bitcoins, right? Because um, we could have got, we only spent like 400 and something dollars. So, so you could have had 400 400, 400 Bitcoins. Bitcoins Right, and uh, instead we bought like four thousand um, ill coins, and they're like in court or something like that. I don't know; they're not worth anything. Uh, and and uh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's a crapshoot, right? And then who's going to buy um, the, the Bitcoin now at twenty four thousand no, dollars? Like, honestly, because mm -hmm. personally, I think Bitcoin is it's, it's gonna it's gonna it'll recover. So if buying now, you're buying a discount. I would think consider, but. Um, yeah, so I think uh, there will be a lot of people who are, who are actually buying it now, especially people who have a lot of it and who have the, the money. I think they're going to purchase it because, again, it's, it's they're looking long. Again, if you're planning on holding for a few years, because with with how Bitcoin works is there's only so many that come out, right? Yeah. I'm not sure what the number is. And once that's out, it's out, right? Yeah. So there's no, you can't, you, you can't add more. Same so, thing with old coins. So what's the so there's none coming out. <laughs> yeah, like but, zero. But Bitcoin has more, obviously, more traction. Like it's, it's the... It's the, the big coin. daddy on the market. It's yeah. anonymous. Yeah. It's so anonymous. What's the moral of the story? Don't listen to your friend. Yeah, but the, the problem <laughs> was is what we didn't like about Bitcoin is that it, 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 it feels like drug trade and all that stuff. And there was, uh, was it Silk Road, I think it was, as a website where you could go on, use your Bitcoin and buy any drug there is. Um, so it deals on the black market. It, yeah, it, yeah, saying. because it's well, anonymous. It's you can buy it with the name Mickey Mouse, right? And and own it as long as you have the password. That's it. Yeah, um, but if you're not doing that and you're staying away from that, why would that affect you? you I just didn't want to fuel that economy. But you can do the same thing with cash. No, instead we fuel not, the not one as, that not didn't as, go Not anywhere. as easily with cash, but you can do it with cash as well. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Let us know, guys, if you would uh, do it. I know uh, one of my friends, uh, his son purchased a car 50% with, um, bit, not Bitcoin, but 50% with uh, uh, a cryptocurrency crypto. yeah. and 50% with uh, money. And uh, that was his first car. And so because he trades in those coins and that. And he did quite well. And that was pretty cool, but uh, I, it just, it's, it's, I don't understand it, so it's a little difficult for me to wrap my head around it. All right, All right guys, so we have a few emails here. Um, the first one's from Carl. Um, Carl says, hello to your team. I always love listening to your show. Randy, don't let Jackie go out and fill your car alone at night. You do it. <laughs> love, <laughs> love you Thank guys. Thank you, Carl. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> Listen, I could go on a showing up north and be gone for five hours and Randy wouldn't even wonder where I am. I'd be busy. <laughs> he'd, he'd just be like, oh, you've been gone five hours? It just felt like an hour. Like, yeah, so. Right. And I'm little, but I'm feisty. I got a kick to me. Mighty Mouse. <laughs> What's the one, uh, Drano? Oh, I can't remember the... the, the the mouse used to run around. Anyways, um, isn't it Mighty Mouse? Oh, you talking with Tom and Jerry? No, no, it was like a, it was like a Mexican mouse. It wasn't Mighty Mouse? Like it was like Mexican. It would run fast. Anyways, probably considered. Yeah, I can't run fast. We considered but... racist now, probably. Riba, Riba. Yeah, no, you were saying that. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that guy. I know who you're talking about. I don't don't remember his name. Andre, so. Andre, <laughs> Uba, Uba. <laughs> I love that cartoon. All right, the next one's from uh, from Bob. Um, Bob says, "I work for the for the federal government here in Canada." In finance com compliance, and I can tell you this: stay away from Bitcoin and other digital currency ideas. They will ruin society. A lot of us here in the government are against that, but we will not make our opinion public, or we can lose our jobs. Our government is pushing society that way to digital currency. Stay away from voting for anyone that wants this. Paper money backed by gold is the way to survive. Well, but, I, but paper money isn't backed by gold. It's not backed by gold. Yeah, if it, if it was, I would definitely agree with that. Um, when, when was it? I think in the seventies, uh, the the states took them off the the U.S. Yeah, the, whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every, everybody n now, huh? Was sixty? Sixties? Yeah. Oh, it was Nixon, right? Nixon took them off the, the gold standard. That's what yeah, saying, right? yeah. The 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 issue, you know, I, I definitely am concerned about cryptocurrency. I think that's kind of stock markety stuff. It's cool that you can do exchanges with it. It, it it's cool. It's hip. It's all that stuff. However. Um, Cash, we're used to, so we understand how it works. Um, 
but uh, the problem with cash is that government can manipulate it. And that's what we're going through right now. You see, our government just went out and spent a whole bunch of money. And what's happening now? Money's being devalued and we are paying um, inflation through our nose with it. So government can just create it and spend it and do whatever they want. Bank of Canada backs them up by buying all the bad debt, whatever, and just uh, allowing this to happen. And then we pay for it through inflation. That's my concern there um, with with uh, the debt instrument that we're using right now. But I do agree with him is that if we did have currency that was backed by gold, it's finite. It would be much more stable. Government wouldn't be able to play all the games that they're playing with it um, at our expense and our children's expense and our grandchildren's expense. Yeah. An issue with, the crypt with crypto too, and same thing you were saying before, where because of, of the uh, non anonymity, anonymity mm -hmm. that word, um, because of that, again, a lot of, um, I guess, scandal things, scandal things can be done. So there are some, I guess, a lot of, well, a lot of gray areas, a lot of people who are getting kind of messed over with it as well. So there is, there is truth to that as well. And the last email we have is from Brenda. Brenda says, hi, Randy, Jackie, and Anthony. We want a real estate crash. This is the only way I can afford a home. Please crash. So I think uh, Randy might be talking about this a little bit going forward in the show. Yeah, I will. I will <laughs> definitely address that. Um, and who was that? That was Brenda. from uh, Brenda. Brenda. Yes. Thank you, Brenda, for uh, writing in. And does Gary have anything separate? No, he's, he's sending he's, them. He's, I know, I, I, thank you. I, you know, I'm forward. If they do come in, I'm forwarding them to your new email address. I did put out a Facebook, Twitter, and blog quickly with your new email address. And folks, if you're just tuning in, you are listening to Your Home, Your Money, and you can write us right now. Our email address is on air at yourteam.pro. Back to you. You can always leave a comment uh, as well, and uh, we'll try to get to those as well. All right. The last email we have is um, from Cindy. Um, the mouse. It's a Speedy Gonzalez. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Speedy Adios. Gonzalez. Andale, andale, uba, uba. Thanks, okay. Cindy. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. I might have to go find that on YouTube later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. He was cutie. <laughs>